Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll change the transmission fluid in my 2009 Honda Civic. Transmission fluid wears out over time. Then it isn't able to properly lubricate and cool the transmission. This causes components to wear and failures to occur. Changing your transmission fluid is a great idea. I usually do this about once a year. The only thing you're going to need to do this job, you'll need a long funnel. You'll need a 3 8 ratchet. Um, I like to put a little extension on here. You'll also need three quarts of the automatic transmission fluid, ATF DW1. Only use this. A torque wrench. This is optional. And then, of course, a drain pan. This will be my second video on changing the transmission fluid on my Civic. I suggest you go back and watch my original video also. I'll link that in the description. There's also an external filter that you should be changing. Honda doesn't give intervals on that. Although I would suggest 100,000 miles, it should be changed. So if you haven't done that, it's a good idea to get that done. I also made a video on that, which I'll link in the description. You'll only need three bottles to do this job. You're only removing three quarts from the transmission. So this is a drain and fill. It's not a flush and it only takes 20 minutes. You can also change your oil at the same time. My car now has 167,000 miles on it and my biggest expense was a starter motor. I'll put a link to the diagnosis of the starter motor and the oil change video in the description. But for now, let's get busy changing the transmission fluid. Right over here next to the battery, there's that yellow loop. And that's where we'll fill the transmission and check the fluid. So right now, I'm just gonna pull this out. That way, when I pull the drain plug, it'll flow. And then if you look down in here, this is where we're gonna fill it. So you're gonna need a long funnel. Um, also, I'm gonna take the dipstick and just put it on this paper towel. I just wanna see what it looks like before and after my fluid change. So there's the fluid change and I'll set my dipstick aside and go underneath. All right, so from underneath, this is what I'm using. Um, a ratchet and then just a short 3 8 extension. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my 3 8 extension, goes right inside there. And then from here, just put it in break it loose uh, and from there it's actually gonna unscrew I get my drain pan see how that works it's coming out and then it may spill and we'll see Also, what you want to do is you want to take your magnet right here and clean that off. See how ugly that is? Let's just clean that up. And then magnet looks good. And then here's the washer. Um, I've replaced this before, but I'm not gonna replace it this time. And just let it drain for a few minutes. Once it's finished, go ahead and just put it back on. Uh, 
and I'm gonna get some torque specs. So the torque specification for the drain plug is 36 foot-pounds. So I'll go ahead and get that tight now. Let me move the drain pan out of the way. I don't need that anymore. There it is, all torqued up to 36 foot-pounds. Wipe it down, and then I'll go upstairs and start putting fluid in. All right, so on your funnel, just make sure it's really clean and needs to be a long funnel. Go ahead and get that down there. And for your fluid, definitely the approved automatic transmission, ATF DW1. And I believe it takes three bottles, but we'll figure this out in a minute. Probably put two and a half in there and then check it. One. There's two and a half. Do a quick check here. It's right about there, but I'm on an incline and I need to back my car off the ramps. So you want to shut it down and then wait about 60 seconds and then check the fluid. So that's what we're going to do. There it is. It really doesn't look any different. But I know it's got all new fresh stuff in there so I'm happy with that. I'm right here at the perfect spot. So we're gonna call this good. I'll take it for a drive and recheck it one more time. Everything worked out perfect. I used two full bottles and three quarters of the third bottle. So if you go to Honda and purchase this, you'll be good with three bottles. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.